9 out of 10 people really don't know what exactly records are in Java. And when asked in an interview, the answer is something like this. Bye, Welcome to 100 Days 100 Interview Questions for Estet. Suppose I want to quickly create a Pojo class. So I'm going to right click over here, I'm going to create a new class called person. And inside my person class, I'm going to have three instance variable, name, age and contact number. Now I want to create it a Pojo, so I'm going to add some constructor. Next, I'm going to have some getters and setters. Lastly, I'm going to make a two string method. If you look at this piece of code, there's a lot of boilerplate code inside it. Boilerplate code basically means that section of the code which has zero or little modification in your program. So if I add new functionalities inside my person Pojo class, the length of the class increases, so does the complexity of this particular class. Records was introduced in Java 16 to reduce the boilerplate code. Now inside this person record, all I need to do is add my instance variable. Done. So inside this record, I'm going to have my instance variable name, contact number and age. Along with that, I'm going to have a constructor, also a two string method. Now, one thing to remember about records are records are immutable, meaning once I have assigned the value to these instance variable, I cannot change them. You can also add extra methods inside the records, just like how you do it in your normal Java classes.